All right, good morning, everybody. So let's say you're a Linux user, but you need to use Windows and you find yourself torn. You find yourself becoming depressed. You find yourself having sleepless nights thinking about how are you going to do this? What are you going to do? Well, I would say instead of running a full blown Windows installation from a normal ISO, why don't you do something like, oh, I don't know, Ghost Spectre or any of the tiny ISOs that are out there. This is virtual machine machine running Ghost Spectre 10. Uh, I cannot remember the exact version, but it's a Windows 10 installation. Theoretically, most programs uh, that you would need to use on Windows specifically should work on this no problem. But why something like this? Why not just a normal Windows installation? Well, us Linux users, we use Linux for a reason. Post your reasons below in the comments um, why you moved away from Windows. That way, I think all of us would kind of know what's going on. But uh, yeah, let's move on. This window, these types of Windows installations, very, very lightweight. It's got everything that we kind of hate about Windows has been stripped away, okay? Also, we won't be using this as a daily driver, as a main operating system. Um, that being said, you'd literally boot into this, you'd run whatever program you need to run, you'd get the job done and you'd shut it down and you'd boot back into Linux, okay? Some of you might even be able to just run this on a virtual machine, no problem, without needing graphics pass through um, and all of those things. Um, but if you do, I recommend putting this on something like a, a Windows to go setup on a, like an SSD, a fast external SSD or something like that. Um, just booting off of that and moving on with your life. So do look into that as well. Windows to go is actually something you can still do. There's Windows or Win to USB uh, utility. There's like stuff like Partition Wizard has the OS migration options and features and stuff. So do look into that. That could also be if you know if you don't want to install it into an internal sort of drive, you can do that. In fact, you can do a virtual machine, use this virtual machine, copy that over. Anyways, you can use this virtual machine to get your uh, sort of this drive copied onto your Windows to go thing using those various tools I mentioned, and you can use that. Now, the other thing is resources, right? So have a look at this. This seems fairly normal for Windows, but keep in mind this is running on extremely limited sort of resources. Let's go and have a look. I've only allocated four gigs of memory. So at idle, all the Windows stuff has, has loaded that it requires to run, you know, to operate as Windows, and it is sitting at 0.9 um, gigs, okay? That's very, very comparable to a lot of Linux installs. So, yeah, I think that this would be a viable alternative, quote-unquote, to Linux, okay? Um, CPU, I've only got two, two cores here. But I digress. I believe that should you find yourself needing to use Windows for whatever reason, using a modded version like this wouldn't really be outside of the realm of possibilities. In fact, I would actually recommend doing that because you don't have to deal with all the cuck that you don't like about Windows in the first place and um, you can still run your apps. Like I say, you know, boot it, run the app, do the thing, get out, back to back to Linux. The legal aspect of this, I'm not sure how legal this would be. Um, I, I, I don't think anybody has really ever read through the entire Microsoft service and license agreements, but please just make sure that you always just have a legitimate Windows license um, whenever you use their software, okay? Um, I'm not going to get into activation of this and all that stuff, but please just make sure that you have a purchased legitimate Windows license so that you can at least, you know, feel like you have actually supported the uh, developers of this operating system. And that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much. Um
do you use you know alternatives are you a linux user but you are forced to use windows in some way have you used any of these tiny sort of slimmed down custom isos um, or are you forced to use just a normal install let me know have a good one see you in the next video bye